Well, this summer on CBC News at 6, we're showing you some of the coolest summer camps in the city. And we kick off with an update of one that we told you about last year. Camp Firefly is one of the only camps for gay youth in the country. Now in its third year, the camp has attracted so much interest, they're facing some growing pains. Stephanie Sowitz has that story. In, in my platoon, as I've indicated earlier, we're very accepting. And uh, it's, we support human rights, as does the Edmonton Police Service. So Staff Sergeant Danielle Campbell was the first and only female dog handler with the Edmonton Police Service. She's also openly gay. I'm just proud to be a member of the Edmonton Police Service who happens to be gay and who had the uh, opportunity to be invited to this, uh, this camp. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for our youth. For the transgender people on the force. This is Camp Firefly for gay, bisexual and transgendered youth. And then we'll share it in the group here. It's an opportunity for them to have a safe place to be themselves and to make connections. It's just fantastic to really be able to connect with people in all these different levels. And the fact that you meet people from across the country and start to network and see what's going on, what's it like to be in Winnipeg and be queer. Besides sharing experiences, Firefly helps kids become leaders. Suddenly, I couldn't be shy little Beth anymore. I had to be Beth, who is out and is leading and is doing this. So I've become who I always had the potential to be, and I find I'm so much happier being able to be this leader. Stories like Beth's are why the camp's running again, with more leadership activities, more support counselors, and many more campers. This year, we're at our maximum capacity with over 55 youth who've come from uh, Ontario, uh, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, British Columbia. So we really become a national camp. But while numbers are increasing, so are the costs. We didn't have space for the other dozen youth that wanted to come uh, because of budgetary uh, reasons, but also because we're, we're on the verge of outgrowing our current facility. And that means year-round fundraising. The real strength of the camp is that grassroots uh, involvement where people can uh, help to send a kid to camp and give them the chance that they never had. So many donors tell us what a difference it would have made in their own lives. As a youth, uh, I, I'm very sad to say that they didn't have these kinds of camps. And um, quite frankly, I thought I was the only lesbian in Canada in junior high. So uh, it, this is wonderful. This is such a great opportunity for kids. and. Uh, to know that they're not alone. Organizers are planning for a fourth camp, saying as long as there is a need for gay youth to know they're not alone, Camp Firefly will be there. Stephanie Sowitz, CBC News, Edmonton. Coming up, the labor shortage.